Now you've got a couple of events coming up that I know that in a couple of days we will be able to air a conversation that we're going to have with you and a gentleman by the name of Melvin Briggs. And we can talk about that more later. But uh, for our audience, talk about the events that are coming up with LRT Sports and, and what that's all about. And I'm sure we're going to have a couple more conversations with some other folks specifically about those events in a later episode. But LRT Sports, what's coming up? Yeah, we have this awesome event called the HBCU Experience Coaches Panel. And this kind of falls into our whole mission of helping athletes find the right fit for them and not necessarily just going to a school because of the name brand or because they think they have to go there or legacy or whatever it may be. So we really want to bring to light, and this was all Melvin's idea, but we want to bring to light um, HBCUs and what they can do from an uh, athletic and an academic perspective, a cultural perspective and everything else and what makes them different from attending um, different types of schools. And I think, you know, for us, again, this is super important because we're all about the, uh, yes, we're a sports company, but we're all about holistics as far as the recruiting process and deciding on a college. So of course your sport is important and you want to play, but at the same time, you should be looking at the greater picture. And I think that this is a perfect time to get coaches on to talk about what it's like to be a coach at an HBCU, what they look for in recruits, how they can get recruited to HBCUs, and just to learn more about the HBCU experience. And um, like I said, this was Melvin's idea. Both of his parents went to an HBCU. Yeah. Um, he did not himself, but it's something that he's super passionate about. And he brought the idea sure. to me and I said, let's do it. So it's a free virtual event on October 14th um, at 8 okay. p.m. And okay. we have, I think, a thousand spots, I believe. So we're looking to fill those up and have as many athletes on as possible. And, you know, not to say that you're, you have to have in your mind now, hey, I want to go to an HBCU. But if you're going through the recruiting process, hop on and listen to what they have to offer so you can learn if you actually want to go on. There might be some intriguing things that come up in our conversation. How do they get How do they get to that link, Kirsten? How do they sign up? What does it cost? What's the process? No cost. So it's a free okay. free virtual event. Um, and if they go to lrtsports.com and they click on the workshops tab, there's a registration link right there. So lrtsports.com and then workshops registration link is right there. And then we're also promoting it on all of our social media. So if you follow us on social media at all, it's just at LRT sports for everything. Um, we'll be posting about that quite a bit. And uh, we're actually doing a weekly release of which panelists are going to be on. And we have, we have a couple really great people. So I think, I think, we're, we're super excited. Beautiful. <laughs> Try to get this Deion is... Sanders on. If, if anyone knows Deion Sanders, I tell you what, you should be reaching out to Deion. Oh, you should be uh, reaching out to We're tweeting at him every yeah. day. Trust me. We're trying. Yeah, that would be great. Now, Deion now, Sanders, I don't know if, if you hear this, else, please join. If he comes on, I don't know if anybody else is going to get to say anything. However, yeah. he's going to want it in. That, that doesn't matter. We can, do his, we can do his own one. <laughs> yeah, you might want to get him on separately because yeah. he, he takes up a lot of air in the room, which is yeah. wonderful. That's a great thing for the HBCUs. Well, this was yeah. going to be a time for all those shameless plugs. Anyhow, Kirsten, so you got those out there. And I wanted to be sure that our audience got a chance to, to tune in. And, and we'll put these up at the end of the broadcast as well, too. Uh, but I just want to kind of wrap things up by saying, hey, it's been a delight to talk to you. I know we got a couple more episodes, one coming up with Melvin and one coming up with you guys together. We'll, we'll go into more detail about these events and programs that you have going on. But Kirsten Sires, LRT Sports, so happy to have you with us on The Real 100. Uh, good luck to you the rest of the day and good luck to you, you and your organization. Thank you for being a part of this. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Kirsten.